There are a number of aspects of the CompTIA a certification exam that are, well, to a nerd like me, kind of simplistic, but they are on the exam. To me, it's user-level stuff. The, how to log into a Windows machine, how to look at your desktop, how to open and close an application. So, sorry, fellow nerds, I've got to cover this stuff. Well, given the simplicity of this, I thought I'd ask my buddies, Boyak and Gleeb. Hey, come on up, guys. Oh, thank you. Hello, Greetings. Boyak, Gleeb. Greetings. Nanu, oh. Nanu. Wrong way. Sorry. No, oh, sorry. Nanu, okay. Nanu, anyway, nice Boyak and Gleeb, you guys are like total noobs, right, when it comes to this kind of stuff? Oh, oh yes. We're yeah. very green. Very green at this yeah. stuff. Uh, very primitive and, and precious. Okay. Well, anyway, what I thought you guys might be able to help me out as we're going through some of this more basic stuff. Okay. And uh, we'll just uh, we'll get all through we this. Help, so. Right? The best place to start is in the Windows login itself. So what we've got to do is start off with the Windows 2000. Let's take a look at the classic Windows 2000 login screen. What we're looking at here is the classic Windows login screen. Now, this is Windows 2000. And if we look at this, we have a classic place where we type in the username and our password. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. And now we are at our classic Windows 2000 desktop. Now, while we're in here, I want to catch a couple of things that are kind of important. Hmm. Now, do you guys see where it says my computer right there? Wow. Okay. Now, what I need you to do, you got to get into the idea of clicking, double-clicking, and right-click. You ready? Now, as we take a look here at my computer, you notice if I click on it, it's highlighted. Do you guys see that? Oh, yes, indeed. All right. So these, and what I'm doing is by single-clicking, you select something. Everything in Windows, if you want to select something, you click once. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to double-click. So I get on top of it. Click, click, and now it's open. Did you see that? That was beautiful. Mike's pretty. I <laughs> so, one click is select, double click is open, and any time you want to change any aspect, any property of it, you right click on whatever you want, and then you select properties. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so, uh, for example, my computer, let me go ahead and close this. My computer, if I want to use my computer, I open it up, and I can see my, the parts of my computer. Wow, parts. Pikes. Well, like my hard drives and my CD-ROM, stuff like that. Much like your intestines. Yeah, that's true, but uh, harder. Makes me hungry. All mm. right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on my computer, and now I can select Properties. This is where I can determine different parts of my system. For example, how am I connected to the network? What hardware do I have on this system? What different types of user configurations I might have? What it boils down to is whenever you're working in Windows, single click selects, single click, 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 <laughs> double click opens, and We're what does right click English do? Here. What does right click do? Um, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> All right, right click allows us to determine the properties. So remember those three. Property. Got it. All right. Now, what I want to do next now is let's property. go ahead and continue in login. This time we're going to move to uh. Windows XP. Windows XP still has the classic login if you want it but it now replaces it with the wonderful welcome screen. Let me show you how this works. 